Hi, my name is Carl Good, and I'm going to show a quick tutorial on how to make a slideshow with narration using two different softwares. One is SoundSlides, which is up here, and the other is Audacity, which is for audio. Uh, SoundSlides actually doesn't record audio. It only imports it from another program. So, um, But before I do any of that stuff, I like to, um, before I actually put the audio together with the photos, I want to sort of figure out what my story is with my photo, because you are going to be telling a story. So... It's, and I like to have a, a way to arrange my photos and mess with them and look at them. And you can do that in Flickr or some other online program or right in your own computer. Um, and uh, I'm going to do it right here in Sound Slides, though. So I'm going to say new project, and I'll save it as uh, Carl's, Carl's project. And, uh, and uh, right away, that screen saves, uh, the screen changes from, from new, new pro project to uh, up, you know, upload a JPEG, which are photos, JPG, uh, or sound, SMB. And your photos have to be in RGB uh, and JPEG format. RGB is red, green, blue. It's for screen resolution on computers, not for print, which is CMYK. Um, you can go into Photoshop and other places and, and convert that those files. But most cameras shoot uh, RGB now as it is. Um, uh, standard size uh, and full screen enable is fine. So I'm going to click on this and... Uh, come down and uh, I have a folder with uh, with photos right here now if I try to upload these photos now these these here it won't let me choose them and it's very frustrating so it only sees folders on the first upload so I'm going to go ahead and uh, see up here it says choose a folder on uh, on the top of the window so I'm going to go ahead and and, and click uh, open on that and um, it'll import I have 11 images and uh, you know they import pretty fast you know it depends on on your settings and what you asked for and all of that but uh, 11 is good for this tutorial. Now, normally I would go in here and click on uh, sound and then go to my audio files and uh, and try to upload this. But I'm going to skip the, the sound right now and I'm going to say slideshow show only down here, skip audio. And what that does is it gives me all these photos to play with. And, uh, you know, just by clicking and dragging, I can move the sequence around and I can sort of, you know, write my story and figure out what it is I, I want to I want to. The, the order in you know in which I want to tell this story with a you know a strong opening and a strong finish and a strong middle and all those storytelling techniques that you hear about. Now you're not going to see a timeline. Usually down below this box, there's a timeline that has the photos all lined up in a string, but that's decided. That's that only appears when you import, imported your audio. And so I am uh, you know I don't have uh, I don't have my audio yet. So. I will import that later by coming over here to audio and saying import audio. Or I could have done it on the first screen either way. So I'm going to go ahead and import my audio now for this slideshow. And I'm going to click on the word audio over here and go ahead and import it and navigate to my audio files folder. And now you can see it's an MP3 file and uh, I've mashed together the two uh, wave. There was an original wave file that was music and then my voice. Uh, and while this is importing, I'll say that down here there's going to be a new window that'll have all of my photos down there along a timeline of sound. They'll be combined together, and it'll let me adjust those uh, the width of those photos to match the amount of time I'm talking about it in the audio. So there's my new uh, my new window, and if I play this, you'll see that I have some music and. Hi, my name is I Carl Good. I'm a little loud. The music's a little low, but you know what? I I want to I want to um, put a little title slide before that, and I went ahead and made one. Um, I'm I'm not, I don't have the word update image down here yet. But you have to sort of mess with this and go away and come back, and now it's there. It's very annoying, uh, but it's still a great program. Don't get me wrong. I'm clicking on add image, and now I have this file called title slide, which I made in I believe it or not Google Drawings, which you go to Google Documents and then you say create new drawing, and then you make it. Uh, a lot of most people don't have Illustrator or some fancier program, so uh, but that's a way to make one, and it's free. And so there's my title slide. There, if I double click on it, you can see Carl's amazing slideshow, which took me over to slide info. I'll go back to slides, and I'm going to drag that up to the beginning of my slideshow, and you see that it appears now at the beginning here. So if I scrub my playhead back there, as, I, as you move across, you can see all of your photos, and um, you know you can you can um, you know resize them just by grabbing the in between each one and dragging it back and forth and and uh, the length of time that it appears on your it, it matches your audio uh, it, you, you just make them the, the right width to match your audio so I'm gonna go ahead and um, 
<coughs> cough and uh, move this up a little so we don't have to listen to the whole thing and then Hi, my name is Carl Goode, and I am uh, going to tell you about a great day in, in Madrid. And uh, we, I was there with 15 students, and we all left our hostel uh, at, in the morning and headed for the Otocha train station. Okay, we left our hostel. I kind of wanted to say hostel uh, right about where, you know, um, that was a little, a little, uh, a little short on this one. So I'm going to go back and I'll listen to it hostel, again. Uh, at, in the morning. Oops, a little bit. We all left our hostel. Uh, in the morning and headed for the Otocha train station, which is... That's better. So you can see that it really does, uh, does uh, it is easy to, to make this in sync. Um, you know, if you don't want any more photo, if you decide you don't want one of these photos, you have too many, like I don't need this extra one of, a, of Toledo, for instance, I could just throw it away. Uh, you want to caption these things. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, put this uh, where I wanted this playhead, I'm going to say uh, our hostel. I actually wrote this out, but I, so it was a little quicker. Our hostel in Madrid was centrally located. Rather than just saying our hostel in Madrid, I, you want to add some more information that makes it interesting to the uh, to the, uh, the the person watching this thing. So, and you can click through all the photos this way and, and just caption them. You can also change the movement of them. For instance, you can. This is the start and finish. Some people call this the Ken Burns effect. So. You can, uh, you know, move these around, and uh, and you know, so this is the finish, and then uh, and then go on to the next one, and when you're all done with that, you can go back to the slide and uh, and then test this movie. Uh, let's go ahead and test this, and we'll see what we've got here. Now you actually get this. This is being tested in my browser, so. Hi, my name is Carl Goode, and I am uh, going to tell you about a great day in, in Now, Madrid. to see these captions, and, uh, you're going to want to... I was there uh, with 15 students, and we all... To see these captions, you have to click on the caption thing here. Um, you can make you can, you can can set it so that they're showing all the time, but you can uh, hide and show captions. You can also add credits in there, like who, was the, who the photographer was. Um, and up here, you can see there's a blank headline there. So we're going to go back to um, Sound Slides and uh, get rid of this, actually, and go ahead into project info and we'll call this, you know, uh, a day in Madrid, a day in Madrid. And um, I can say by, you know, by Carl Good, and, and there, that'll appear up there at the top of the page when I'm ready. And you can also come into template and you can, you can try and look at, you can look at different templates for, for showing your movie. Uh, so anyway, we're going to go and we'll just leave it here at, on, on white. Uh, you can also, um, uh, change the fonts that you're using for the captions and stuff. You can actually do transitions where, right now you can see as they goes from each each photo, one photo to the next, that it they fade into each other. You can change those transitions to uh, to uh, to a different type of transition, and uh, and it, it's all pretty pretty sophisticated stuff. It's pretty good. So so I'm going to go back to slides. I'm going to save this. So now everything I've done is saved. I don't have captions on all my photos, but I normally would. Let's say we're finished now. We're ready to go. Everything's with the right size and the right speed. 